So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel if my camera keeps swerving. It's purely down to Koda ruining my gorilla pod and yes, I still have the mountain on my face. So this vlog, vlog, it's not really a vlog, I wanted to kind of talk about all of the questions that you guys have asked over the past couple of months. I also did about a month ago, I think I asked what you guys wanted to know, a Q&A sort of style. So this video is not a vlog, it is just a Q&A about me and questions that you want me to answer. And I'm sorry that I can't link everybody's name at the bottom of the screen of the people that I've asked because I'm going to go because I'm going to go over a few of the questions and also I'm a noob when it comes to editing so I'm not too sure how to do everything yet so I'm just gonna slowly get into it and eventually I'll be able to do stuff like that but for now thank you for everybody that's uh give me a question I do appreciate it and it really really does help so if you ask the question and I answer it you're gonna know it's from you so thank you I'm gonna first talk about the thing that you guys asked the most about how did you meet Kiyoshima? How do you know Kia? Where did you guys meet? How did it happen? This has been asked so many times. So, so many times. How did me and Kia meet? Okay, I've been streaming on Twitch, which is a gaming platform for around two and a half years now. So it's been a long, long time since I've been streaming there. And when I first started streaming, I didn't really have many viewers and I didn't really know anything about the CS community because I only just got into it and I used to play Xbox for a long time. Yeah, I was an Xbox gal before. I used to play Call of Duty, all that sort of stuff. So I just got into CSGO and I was streaming and I had a couple of friends on there. I had like 10 viewers or something like that. Having fun, having fun. And then Kyo actually followed my stream courtesy of crazy telling him to check me out so he came on my stream anyway and he gave me a follow and I only just started streaming then so I had no clue who he was so I was like thanks Kia for the follow and then he was like apparently this is what he was like he was like I shouldn't even know who I am so anyway he like left it um and then somebody actually messaged me like a couple more months after I started getting into the um professional gaming and I was watching like the pros play and trying to get better myself and my friend actually told me that Kiyoshima followed me from Envy and obviously I knew who Envy was because I just started getting into it and learning my like teaching myself about different organizations and everything so I was like oh my god really that's so awesome like I can't believe that the pros following me when I'm I was silver I was silver elite master I know I was first rank silver four pro by the way uh, so that's what happened and I basically just tweeted and I went oh I can't believe Keo follows me just tagged him in like a basic tweet and then he like replied to me and I think I followed him oh no I, I think I followed him when I wrote the tweet and then I think he messaged me saying oh you're welcome it's fine and I just kind of started speaking from there really and he asked if I wanted to play with him and his English wasn't so good but he's a pro now because me. So that's how we actually started speaking and we met, we started speaking for a couple months, played with each other online with our friends and everything. I actually went to Insomnia, that was my first gaming event, it was in London and it was in a cinema so it was really really small. And we actually met each other there and from there we just carried on talking. I met him in France um, and it just kind of took off from there and then we've been together for two years now. So that's how I met Fabian. Uh, <laughs> That's that's the start of everything. So you guys have actually I've answered your question. Now you guys can't pester me, you can just watch this video and now you know. Second question I got asked a lot. How did I get into modelling? Right. I did bits and bats of modelling when I was younger, like little bits for like friends and photo shoot for friends and everything like that. And I honestly loved doing it and it was amazing. Um, I was with like an agency when I was younger and I had a couple of jobs, did some stuff for Weller and everything but I felt like I was too young, I was unconfident, I didn't sort of feel like I fitted in properly in that sort of time, I don't know if that makes any sense at all but I don't know, I just didn't feel like I was doing it at the right time or place. So basically I just loaded little jobs, bits and bats, like I said, I was with an agency, that stopped. I just gave it a bit of a break, to be honest. I was like, oh, I'm not going to do any well, I'm not going to do well. And I was kind of like pushing myself down and telling myself I couldn't do it. And then 
around i think it was around two or three years ago now maybe three years ago kia actually told me that i should apply for some agencies if i really wanted to do it and I did really want to do it and I've been wanting to do it since I was younger so I applied for an agency called Jador Models in Manchester so I emailed them a couple of pictures of my face and they said that they'd like me to come in and meet with them so I went into the agency and I spoke to all the lovely staff from Jador and said oh we'll get in touch with you we'll let you know if we think you're going to do good with Jador and they actually rang me and they told me that they would love to sign me and kind of took off from there and I also applied for Brit Sex Model at the same time I applied for Jador and then I found out that I was through to the next stage of Brit Sex Top Model and I was lucky enough to actually get on the show um, this was season 11 and I came 6th place so I was chuffed a bit at the time I was a bit like disappointed that I didn't come like, higher but 6th place out of 12 girls and thousands of girls that applied it was insane and I'm really really proud of myself and everything's kind of slowly coming together so now I'm speaking to London agencies I'm speaking to an agency in Milan so it's like it's slowly getting that you just have to put a lot of effort into modeling I feel like you have to put your heart and soul into it you have to do a lot of free work you have to do a lot of test shoots you you don't have to pay for your portfolio if you're looking to be a model and you are wanting to model if you think that you need to pay for your photos you do not need to pay for your photos unless you're with an agency who says we really think it would be a good idea if you worked with a really really good photographer and then they'll probably maybe even get you discount rates but other than that you don't need to you can do test shoots you can meet with photographers do like do the test shoots and then they might be good enough and then you can get booked and then then pictures from the jobs are then going to get used in your portfolio so you don't need to be charged money to be a model just getting that out there because a lot of people get scammed in this industry. Moving on. If I could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I haven't travelled enough to know where I'd like to live. I feel like I would love to travel and like live in different places for a couple of months. But there's a couple of places I'd like to go. I would love to go to America. I haven't been to America yet. I would love to go to Australia, New Zealand, China, which I might be going next year, by the way. Super hyped hopefully fingers crossed um yeah that's the places that i'd like to go that's pretty sure then so what got you into streaming so it was actually my ex-boyfriend i was playing xbox and he told me that pc gaming was better and i was like nah nah don't believe it whatever and eventually i gave in and i got the pc and i started playing pc games and then i had to play with his friends i'm not saying his friend sucks they're nice people but they were a bit annoying i'm not gonna lie like i couldn't tolerate playing with them constantly and they were the only people that i knew that played pc games so the reason i started streaming is because i actually wanted to make some friends and play games with them because i didn't have any friends that play games so the reason i started streaming is purely down to i wanted to make friends maybe some girl gamers i made friends with some streamers at the beginning before i even started streaming and then eventually I've met my best friend on there, my best friends, like loads of people. I've met Keo, I've met amazing, amazing people and I'm so grateful for it. I love games, I've loved gaming since I was a kid so I'm, I'm really blessed to be able to stream. I just love it so much and I don't think I'll ever stop. Gaming is like a passion of mine, I just love it. It's, it's in my heart, it's in my heart. The greatest memory from my streaming career, okay. There have been many. Meeting amazing people, first of all. Building an amazing community is also amazing. I said amazing a lot. Um <laughs> getting my sub button. That was like a big achievement because like I had my sub button nearly two years now and it's so so hard to get a sub button. So hard. Well back then it was really really hard. You had to get like a minimum of like hundred views and everything like that, and it was just super super hard, but eventually I got it and so that was the best time. And it was like the biggest relief ever and it was so satisfying. Oh, I loved it. I'm sorry that these questions are mixed by the way. I'm not doing any particular order. They are purely random so you guys can see and listen to each question separately. Are you tired of answering all these questions about Keo? Yes. Have you ever tried to loo me cheese? What are these questions guys? Come on, come on bruh. No, I actually haven't tried to me cheese. <laughs> I can't eat dairy, but it looks like cheese, and I did like really like cheese anyway, so no. Uh, I want to visit England soon. Other than Liverpool and Manchester, can you 
site, three towns or places that you love and enjoy and people must see. Hmm. So if you're not from England and you want to travel to England and you want to see some beautiful places, I really suggest that you check out York. York is like beautiful. It's beautiful. It's got like a nice castle and it's all like a quaint town. It's got like a canal and it's, it's just really pretty. I think if you do get the chance to go there, you should totally check it out. I always love going to York because it makes me feel... It feeds my soul. It's just such a sort of a lovely sort of atmosphere. I think York is really, really nice nice place to go like even though scotland is in england obviously but um you should go to edinburgh if you get the chance because edinburgh is so beautiful especially at christmas time it's just it's just beautiful edinburgh is beautiful if you get the chance to go to edinburgh 100 percent go it's just it's so old-fashioned but it's just so like I said, it feeds the soul. Like I like old looking places and old looking cities and towns. I just think they're, they're just so nice to see because you don't get to see them all the time now. You get to see like, you can see huge towers and buildings and everything like that. So, yeah. What's your number one life tip? So, be yourself. You probably heard it a trillion times, but legit, stop trying to please people. You just can't force stuff in this day and age and you can't pretend to be somebody that you're not. I mean you can, but there's no point. Like legit, I went through most of my life with people not understanding me and not getting me and not liking me. I didn't really have loads and loads of friends when I was younger, but yeah, just stop trying to please people because that is the worst thing you can do. You just need to be yourself, do what you love, and if you feel lonely and you feel like you've got no friends, and trust me, you wasn't the only one. I had legit nobody sometimes in my life, well, in some periods of my life, and I used to sit alone at lunchtime, eating my food on the PC at school, because I had legit no friends. Things will come your way, and people, things will go to plan. You don't need to, pretend to be someone else to please other people. How much food do you eat? What are these questions, guys? I mean, if you want to know, I will answer them. I eat a lot of food. Sometimes in my vlogs, I don't show that I eat a lot of food, but like I said, I've got casting on Wednesday, so I'm having to eat super, super healthy at the moment and not have a lot of food. But usually I have three meals a day, quite big meals, and then I have like two snacks in between. So five, five meals basically but three large. Usually my snacks are like smoothies and maybe like a na naked bar which are like just 100% like natural ingredients like dates, cashews, stuff like that. I eat kind of, I eat a sort of a plant based diet because I'm a, I can't eat dairy and I'm vegetarian which has only been the past two months and I felt amazing for it and the reason that I went vegetarian is because I feel like I was uneducated about the meat industry and fed a bunch of lies and now I just don't want to support the death of animals basically. I'm not against people that eat meat at all. You do you and everything but I feel like if you want to be educated about it then it's something that you should definitely check out and see if you want to be part of the path the suffering I guess you can say because it is it's, it's what it is but obviously you guys need to make that decision for yourself as you're fully grown adults but that's the reason that I went vegetarian where do you see yourself in five to ten years who five years time oh god I'm gonna be 26 I don't know what I'd like to do actually. I still love to be streaming by five years. I still hope to be doing content creation in five years because I'm still gonna look young because I've got the baby face, okay? But um, I'm hoping to see myself successful. I don't know if I, five years is maybe too soon to say that I'd be settled down with kids because I don't want kids in the next five years. I think that's, it's, it's too soon. 10 years, maybe, maybe children, 10 years. I don't have a clue. I don't know. I'm just. I don't try and focus on. I want to do this in the future. I want to do that because if you do that, then you kind of set yourself goals that you maybe might not achieve, and then you'd feel like you're not fulfilled. I think you should take every day as sort of a different day, and different challenges come ahead. And if you don't succeed, then it's not the end of the world. It basically means that you've learned from a lesson and 
life goes on. Mistakes are just a way of your life teaching you a lesson. 110%. You should just be happy with everything that you've got in your life now and not be like, I want this in the future, I want that. Like, I think you should just take it as you come, do your best in absolutely everything and then it will come. Your time will come. Kind of going off topic, but you get what I mean. How often do you go to the gym? And that's another question. I go to the gym usually four to five times a week, maybe six sometimes. Depends on how I'm feeling that week. If I feel miserable, I'm not going to go to the gym. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to force myself. But I was on project get thick. <laughs> That's what I called it because I wanted to be a bit more curvy and I have a lot of stuff going on. So I can't do that at the moment. But I'm hoping it will. If things don't go right or the castings don't go good, then I can do project get thick again. It doesn't matter. But the agencies that I'm looking at at the moment, they are really strict when it comes to measurements. So. Project Get Thick isn't happening at the moment. Do you compare yourself to other streamers and other people on Twitch? No, I don't. Don't want to. I don't want to compare myself because everybody's so different. And on the streaming, I feel like you can't compare yourself. Every girl, every guy is different. Some girls love to do more in real life stuff, interact with more girls like to game. Some of them are even pros. Some of them have like special skills. There's no point comparing and to be honest, there are very successful streamers and they have put a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of thought and preparation into their stream to make them as successful as they are. And obviously I, I think that's amazing and I'm all for that and I think it's so amazing that somebody can build a brand so big, so popular and it, it's inspiring. I don't think I see it as competition because if you do that then you kind of compare and then you do make yourself feel like well I don't have that many views or I don't have that many subscribers and if you focus on that then you're going to pull it, your stream down even more which you don't want to do because you want it to grow you just want to be you this is what I'm saying guys be you and you'll you'll get far okay what is your advice on starting a new stream okay this question I get quite a bit how do I start a new stream how do I get followers how do I get viewers patience <laughs> basically it. I've been streaming for two and a half years. So the first six months I had less than 10 views, sometimes even less than five. And they were literally just my friends, like all well, my ex-boyfriend's friends. And they'd be like leaving my stream open or something like that. It's never, I never just instantly started streaming and got popular. Like it didn't work like that. I was putting hours and hours and hours into streaming and I've been doing it for two and a half years. And only now was my stream started to grow quite a lot. Um, so I don't think that you should focus on, oh, I don't have that many views, so I don't, I'm not going to stream anymore. You stream because you want to stream and you love it and you love the games that you play and you're passionate about streaming and you don't want to give up because if you give up, then you're just, or you're like, oh, well, I don't have that many views, so it doesn't matter if I take a week break. Well, then views that you did have that week are going to be like, oh, well, that stream is not dedicated. And then they'll go find another streamer that is dedicated. If I've been out of... I think I've been out of focus this whole time. A week off or two weeks off, uh, you don't keep people updated, then they're going to be like, oh, well, I found another streamer that is dedicated, that is prepared to put the time. And that's the, the big streamers. If you look at the big streamers, they're there nearly every single day. They're working their butt off because they care about streaming and they want to keep their viewers happy and they want to like, kind of like, it's a, it's a sign of respect. If you have viewers and people that are spending time to talk to you and come to your channel, then I think it's just common courtesy, really, to carry on streaming for them. Like, I feel like I'm not complete if I don't stream. I know it sounds so strange, but I'm so used to streaming and I don't like letting people down. And when I don't stream, I feel like I'm letting people down. My best advice for you to start streaming is just work so hard just put the time in put the effort in be funny be maybe do something a little bit different that you've not seen on twitch before because if you look people that are usually right right at the top they've got something unique about them that's made them grow but they've all started from the bottom they've all started from scratch and they were all in the same position as you guys it's just dedication and i feel like if you're dedicated in something then you put the time and effort into it and you'll be successful. So that's gonna wrap up this sort of question and answer 
thing, which was a question and answer. Um, if you do want to know any more questions and you want me to do a part two, do let me know below because I could probably do one in another vlogmas or something like that. So thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing and thank you so much for the support. And I hope that you have an awesome day wherever you are in the world and to make today amazing and put 110% of effort into everything that you do. So I will see you tomorrow or on stream or whenever. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>